Khalil Jashan. He's an expert on Middle East affairs and the executive director of Arab Center here in Washington. Thank you so much for joining My us. My pleasure. Thank you. First, I'd like to get your reaction to this UN proposed unilateral ceasefire. Um, do you think that could ever at any point be agreed upon? And then to the remarks that uh, Secretary Kerry's proposals were supposedly too favorable to Hamas. Well, the, the last part of your question is, is kind of ridiculous. I mean, to, to assume that the United States, which has been a partner uh, to Israel in this aggression, by continuing to mimic uh, the Israeli rationale for this war on Gaza by saying Israel has the right to self-defense as if killing 1,063, you know, uh, uh, innocent people, uh, mostly civilians, 70-plus percent of them are civilians, uh, as if this is self-defense. Uh, this is nothing short of, of basically state-administered terror, uh, punishing the Palestinian population uh, for the sins of the few, for political purposes. And, uh, you know, in a way, it's unfortunate to see the efforts uh, of Secretary Kerry fail, but, uh, you know, in a way, it was of his own doing. I think from the very beginning, uh, siding with Israel on the one hand and trying at the same time uh, to be a fair or even-handed arbiter to this uh, did not help him much. Uh, and uh, the fact that uh, he also bet on, on, on an antiquated idea going back to the 2012 uh, uh, ceasefire agreement that Egypt negotiated at the time, uh, history doesn't go backward. History goes forward. And that to that end, um, Egypt has a new leader. You, you said history cannot repeat itself. What will it take now? How is it different now? What needs to happen now? What needs to happen now, if, if indeed Egypt is interested in mediating, and it does have the potential uh, to mediate this conflict, it has to liberate itself from Israel's control, because with all due respect, uh, the ideas that Egypt uh, proposed are Israeli ideas that were simply uh, given to, to Egypt as a vehicle uh, to enforce down Hamas's throat. And these ideas have been turned down. Uh, refused by Hamas because Hamas as a party to this conflict was not invited to have an input into these talks. Nobody talked to Hamas. So if Egypt is really interested in proceeding forward, it has to amend uh, its proposal and move forward. To that end, though, how much can get accomplished with Hamas having such wide influence? And, and why haven't we seen much of President Mahmoud Abbas and some of the other regional leaders uh, publicly coming out and and making some comments or statements? Well, basically, yes, the Palestinian people do have a national leadership in Ramallah and uh, in the person of uh, President Abbas. But at the same time, uh, he has been marginalized, ignored, weakened over the past few years by Israel, uh, which has refused uh, to, to negotiate with him, uh, delegitimized his rule, uh, undermined uh, his credibility uh, by refusing the Kerry proposals for peace. Uh, while the Palestinians did accept that. Uh, in addition to the fact that this particular campaign itself, since it started 21 days ago, uh, has undermined the, the credibility of Abbas, and he looks like a yo-yo. I mean, he's supposed to be the president of the Palestinian people, and he's not being treated as such uh, by supposedly his peace partner, the, the Israelis, and by the uh, Egyptians. So he's being utilized right now to be a partner in this uh, suggested, uh, if you will, a ceasefire proposal, but that's being doubted by the Palestinian people because his credibility is diminished. Are you optimistic that this conflict can draw to an end anytime soon? Or are you surprised that it has even lasted as long as it has? Of course. Uh, you know, this conflict is not new. Uh, I was born in the first day of this conflict, 60-some uh, years ago. Uh, I, w I do believe that this conflict uh, can be resolved. I, I do not belong to the school uh, that feel this is hopeless. But there has to be some serious commitment. There has to be some serious change on the part of the key party, uh, namely Israel, which is the powerful party uh, to this conflict that refuses to, to share the land, refuses to acknowledge the other side, ref re refuses to acknowledge the rights uh, of the other side to a state of, of their own, and con continues to insist uh, on a state for the Jewish people while the natives of this land, the Palestinians, are excluded from the solution. Ten seconds. Who can bring Israel around at this point? Only the United States. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, Khalil Jashan. We appreciate your insight. Thank you.